absolutely beautiful here. It is absolutely gorgeous here. This must be the manor, I suppose, although from the distance, it looked like the manor was further over. Well, I don't know, it could be that. That could be the manor. That big house, what I saw. Yeah, that is the manor, but of course it, it caught fire um, sort of a hundred odd years ago and uh, it was totally rebuilt. Um, it was even taller at one point, um, the top floor being totally destroyed. Um, and going back to the 15th century, it was probably, you know, far more Tudory. Back to the cassette. That could be the house where my ancestors lived. My great, 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 great grandfather, Thomas Stutville. This is so exciting. Doing the tree, finding out all this stuff. Surrounding the churchyard, there's a high, like, garden wall that they have in these places. Um, under a big tree, there's a stone to somebody. See a big house, like a mansion. Not as big as Dalmain, I don't think. It's quite big. It's quite new, really, so I think there must have been another manor the time they would have been here in the 17th century. 16th, 17th century. There must have been another manor, because that looks a bit too... That's 18th century. The Stutfills had the manor for th over 300 years, from like 1400 something up into the mid 17th century, when obviously something happened and the Stutfills went over to America um, and were hardly heard of again. It was the male heirs all, all died out, and all the, the women married Isaacsons, including one of mine. Back to the cassette. Don't expect to find any graves here, but you never know. Henry Swan, 1881-1879. Elizabeth Ann Neves, 1845 to 1925. I'm right behind the tower, and there's a big slab here of Anne. Beneath this stone are the mortal remains of Anne Affleck, eldest daughter of James Affleck. Rector of Finden, Finden, in the county of Northampton. She died in 1852. Looks like age 66. She being dead, she had something prepared. I don't know. That's a big slab, anyway. Really, it's pretty here. So then there's actually they're on the brick wall there are some slabs of people. There's a Dearesley, Edward Dearesley, he died in eighteen sixty seven, he's fifty three, and his wife Rhoda. Thomas Bowers, died in eighteen thirty six, age eighty, and Ellen his wife. Peter George, son of Robert. Breeze and Caroline and Nan died in 1885. Looks like six years. Percy Thomas Warren died at Dull Dulham Hall in 1885, aged 15 years. Percy Thomas Warren. And there's somebody Rolf here. James Rolfe died on the 30th of November 1902. And Rebecca Rolfe, wife of the above, died in 19 something. Then you've got a great big Celtic cross. Somebody Rhodes. Francis William Rhodes, born April 1850. Died at something September <coughs> I'm not sure it's a great Celtic 
across anyway. This Rhodes family are of, are of significance. They once owned Dulham Hall and they also were the founders of Rhodesia. So that's quite um, a bit of history there. Right in the corner on the wall we've got Francis William Rhodes. Born 1898, died 1938, and Cecil John Rhodes. Born 1904, died 1936, and Violet Rhodes, 1893 to 1969. It's a Rhodes family. There's another big, huge, sort of marbly looking slab, coloured green and brown and whatever, of um, Ernest Frederick Rhodes. Born July the 21st, 1852, died. April the 4th, 1907. It's obviously a Rhodes family. There's a little door, like to the door to the secret garden. More slabs. Like I said, I don't know where the Stuttvilles would be buried. More athletes, Bart. The Stuttvilles, I find, are interred within the church. Yeah, that room was once the um, vault of the Affleck family. Um, the roof had gone and the floor had gone, so for some reason it had been left in disrepair and the Afflecks were buried outside in the churchyard. Yeah, something fell in. The roof must have fallen in. No one could afford to repair it. They started to break it up. photos of the 
great big garden leading up to the house. I presume this is the manor, but I should imagine it was once built on an older structure. The 1700s or 1600s when uh, Thomas Stuckville and the other Stuckvilles in the 15th century had this place. I mean, they died here. No, I haven't got any more film. So basically, I hope I don't come across a grave now. No, I can't take a picture of. I don't know why I don't keep the, the new cameras in the van. And it's set in a beautiful scene here. It's on a hill. Newmarket's just a couple of miles away. I've got a feeling they've locked it up. Because I'm sure that mesh wasn't across there a minute ago. Which would have been a shame. I should have gone in the church first. I'm sure that gate wasn't shut. <laughs> 